Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's blessing again. Have you missed me? Because I've missed you too. Yes, I have. If you haven't missed me, you're not subscribed. So let's do this thing where you subscribe so I can stop missing you and you can stop missing me and you can join the Yoruba family, okay? That being said, if you guys are interested in Ankara prints, earrings, accessories, backpacks, notebooks, purses, all those kind of Ankara print accessories and Ankara African print materials, then follow the Black Label Company on Instagram, the underscore black underscore label company, and you can purchase some of these Ankara print materials, all right? That being said, let's not talk too much. Let's get into this video, okay? Today, I'm going to be teaching you certain suspicious phrases okay i'm going to be exposing yoruba people because i care about you and i want you to be protected okay so these are phrases that if you hear a yoruba person say especially if you're in nigeria and they know you're a foreigner then guy you better pick up your bags and run for your lives in fact drop your bag take off your shoes whatever will help you run fast make sure you do it so that being said let us get into it what are some phrases that are a little bit suspicious and you know what yeah it might not even be a bad thing like it might be a misunderstanding but if i was you i would rather be safe than sorry i would rather run for my life and hear the explanation later than stay and be used for sacrifices or money rituals so whether or not you think it's real or not they think it's real and they have no qualms killing you to try and further those motives the first one is not necessarily you know it's, it's not the worst thing it's just like it's best to be careful when you hear this because you don't know where they're you don't know why they're asking it or why the point of the question is so if there's two people are, and they're talking around you and they're talking and one says shogbo yoruba shogbo yoruba and then the other one says kogbo yoruba or kogbo nkonti so if you start hearing things like shogbo kogbo kogbo nkota anso kogbo nkota anso hmm my dear prepare prepare for the running because they're saying or asking if you understand them and the other one is saying no she doesn't understand us or she doesn't understand our language or she can't she, does, she can't tell what we're saying so one of two things is about to happen a you're about to be scammed <laughs> So they're about to like maybe increase the price of whatever it is or you know they're about to scam you in some way some form some shape or they're about to plan and plot against your life for your downfall pick one or two but if you hear some people talking about shobo kobo kuligboa komo katan so just know it's, just, it's something something is about to happen and neither of the options are great another one it's the second thing so if you hear something like jeka sheleshi Jeka Bilo Jeka Be Jeka So when they start saying Jeka they're saying let us right so Jeka is let us they they are planning they're colluding to do something so Jeka Be let us carry her Jeka Bilo let us carry her go Jeka Jagbe let us steal her let us kidnap her so if you're hearing Jeka open your ears because whatever comes after the Jeka will determine what is about to happen to you <laughs> So Jeka Shele She, let us hurt her. Jeka no, let us let us beat her. It can be, you know, anything can really come after this Jeka. So if they really want to hurt you, it starts from Jeka. Jeka no. Jeka Gbelo. Jeka Gbe. Jeka Shele She. Jeka something. When when you start hearing Jeka, open your ears because what they say next, it can go either way. So Jeka, let us. So this one is suspicious, but it's not necessarily dangerous. It could be, but it might not be. So if, this, if, this, if you're with someone and the person gets a phone call or they're on the phone and then you hear them say, Mi o le soron si o wambi. Hmm, this one can mean many things. So mi o le soron si means I can't talk right now. O wambi, she or he is here. So you have to ask yourself, why can't they talk because I'm here? Who are they talking to? What are they talking about? What do they want to talk about? Is it to do with me? Right? So if someone wants to kidnap you and the person that 
you know they're kidnapping you they're colluding with calls them they might say this if someone is cheating on you and the person they're cheating on you with calls them they might say this if someone wants to get rid of you you know there is a vast is a vast sea of things that this might apply to <laughs> But the point is, if you're hearing someone say, Miole Soron Sin, I can't speak right now. O and B, she's here. Just know the person is hiding something from you, plain and simple. So, another one, if you're hearing things like, Maje ko salo, Maje ko bo, Maje ko ja, or you're hearing tele, tele, my dear, you're in trouble. <laughs> this one is trouble. Because ma jeko salo, don't let him or her run away. Ma jeko bo, don't let him escape. Ma jeko lo, don't let him go. Tele, tele, follow him, follow her. Follow him, follow her. They are on your tracks. That's the simple, that's simple. That's what you need to know. If anyone is talking to somebody else and saying, don't let them, don't let him escape. Escape what? Escape what? Ma jeko salo. Don't let him escape. Don't let him run away. Maja Kobo, don't let him escape. Tele, tele, follow him, follow him. If you hear tele, moma tele, mofe tele, they want to follow you, my dear. Find the nearest, I can't even say police station because they won't help you, but just find safety. Go Move to safety. So tele, tele, maja kosalo, maja kobo are all words you don't want to hear. So another one is like, if you hear the word one chance, just know you're in trouble. <laughs> if you hear one chance, so things like Oti war one chance, you have entered one chance. Hey, oh my boy, one chance, Lele, as in you don't know this is one chance. One chance, one chance, one chance. If you hear one chance, well, it depends. I would say run, but it might be too late for you. But if you hear one chance, just know you're in trouble, right? Because one chance is like a situation that is just not going to go favorably for you is the long and short of the story so if you enter into a taxi and they want to kidnap you you have entered one chance if you enter into a taxi and they want to steal from you you have entered one chance if you enter into a taxi and they want to go and use you for rituals you have entered one chance so if you hear anyone mentioning like you being in one chance the truth of the matter is it's it's not it's not a favorable situation to be in run that being said if anyone refers to you as a maga a mugu a ode a olush just 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 cut your losses split okay because if they're calling you a maga or a mugu they're saying like this one's dumb like we're about to use this one we're about to scam this one this one like this is my maga maga don't pay yeah they're saying like the fool has paid the fool has released his funds unto us so if you're being referred to in any capacity as a maga as a mugu then just know the person does not have good intentions towards you point blank period and you don't need to be in that situation because even though you might not lose your life you might lose your money and nobody wants that so if you hear maga mugu one chance just so listen you're grown i don't need to teach you how to behave in these situations find your way out of it simple okay this one's a bit more extreme and so much less likely to occur but listen the world is a dangerous place right now i can't i'm not i'm not the one that's going to decide what may or may not happen so i'm going to give you the information and you can do as you please with it but if you hear anything about a tutu eh <laughs> my dear pick race pick what pick race because what you will die <laughs> it's honestly that simple in Kotiba Barberi, if you hear that, in Kotiba Barberi, this that that means that's what the ritualist, the herbalist, the whip doctor asked for. It to means sacrifice. So if they're saying Jeka Fiele Yi She Tutu, they are saying let's use this one for the sacrifice. She Charlie Fele Rubo, can we use this one for the sacrifice? Anything about a tutu, anything about rubo. Anything about Baba, <laughs> if you're hearing Baba, Baba Berry, Baba Sokwe, Baba Nikwe, whatever the Baba has said, you don't want to be a part of that conversation, drop your bag, drop your shoes, and run. Do what? Pick 
race because you know what yeah the other ones you can even play with the other ones can be a misunderstanding but if you're hearing the words 82 ritual one theory one why in your time if they they, they talk about they want to sacrifice you and cut off your body parts run pick race listen listen a word is enough for the wise. I told you my own. If you choose to stay in that situation, you're actually on your own. You are actually on your own. And I'm actually going to go and pray for God's protection because God knows I'm spilling all these people's secrets. <laughs> so yeah, if you're hearing anything about Etutu, Ebo, Baba, Sokwe, Kilamalu, if you're hearing anything about Afelonyo or Talamalu, just know they're trying to look for who they're going to use for their sacrifice. Drop your items. Pick race. Okay, and last but not least, this one is not a suspicious situation, per se. It's not danger, it's not like your life is not in danger, or anything like that. But this is just something that someone could say to you that is actually inappropriate, but you will not know, because you don't understand, and it's not, it's more slang. So even if you're Yoruba, you might never understand that's what they're trying to tell you. But I'm going to expose them today, okay? So there's two phrases. If someone says to you, <laughs> I want to eat your work is a literal translation or if they say both of those words mean I want to fornicate you but replace fornicate with a more vulgar and offensive word and there you go so if at any point someone says to you they want to eat your work as I'll put on the screen, or that they want to do it. The word do means fuck there. And so now you know better. So yeah, that is the end of it. Those are the phrases that I personally think that if you hear in a place that you're not comfortable or familiar with, or you don't have people around, or you're not used to, you should drop your shoes, your bag, your top. I don't know, don't drop your top. That's dangerous too. <laughs> Just drop all the things that may slow down your running and find your way out because those situations can get anyway but yeah no, it's just, on a serious note guys i want you guys to be very careful it's really dangerous out there right now and obviously this applies to nigeria but just generally be careful keep your wits about you and pray for protection every time you leave the house because the evil one is out there roaming looking for who to devour all right so yeah, let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see. Let me know if you like this video by liking it and sharing it and commenting down below. As usual, I'm human, so I'm liable to make mistakes. If you say, if you think anything I've said in this video is incorrect or you have more that you can add, phrases that you think people should be suspicious of, please leave it down below in the comment section. Let me know if you've ever heard these phrases and what happened after, if you're alive to tell the story. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And I will see you guys in my next video. We're trying to reach 20,000 before the end of the year. So please make sure you um, subscribe and share and ask your friends and family to subscribe as well. Bye.